Hello. Today we are now going to study about the inversion of temperature or the temperature inversion, which is the reverse of the normal behavior of the temperature in the troposphere, in which the temperature decreases with increasing altitude at a rate of 6.5 degrees centigrade per kilometer. which is known as lapse rate that we have studied in our earlier class. But in case of the inversion temperature or temperature inversion, what is happening? With increasing altitude, the temperature is also increased, which is generally the reverse phenomena in our atmosphere. So this is also known, this is known as the temperature inversion. Under these special circumstances, the temperature that is the inversion play an important role to formation of clouds precipitation visibility etc. It is act as a cap of the upper movement of the air that is the when it go to the upward. Also in the regions where the low level inversion is present there is convective clouds can grow in this uh, grow on this particular region. Therefore inversion also affect the diurnal temperature of a particular region. So what are the ideal conditions for the development of this temperature inversion? First, clam winter night. Long night. Stable weather, clear skies. These are some favorable conditions that helps to the process of the inversion of temperature that is caused. This is the height, and this is the temperature. So in that case the temperature inversion this is the inversion of temperature. So this temperature inversion there are different types of temperature inversion is found on our at our atmosphere that we discussed now because this inversion of temperature occurs in several conditions that you can see the ideal conditions like uh, it may occur in the ground surface but sometimes it occurs at the greater height or sometimes it is caused due to the static atmospheric conditions or it may be caused due to the vertical or horizontal movement of air. So, based on the characteristics of the occurrence of this temperature inversion, it can be classified as the non advectional inversion in a major category. Like ground inversion. This ground inversion is caused when the air is cooled by the contact with a cooler surface. Like this is a cold surface. A 
radiation transfer from here. Heat transfer by conduction. This occur mostly at the clear night conditions, so in the ground schools with the radiation. And this type of con uh, conversion, this type of inversion, mainly found in, at the higher altitude. The higher latitude. Second is the upper air inversion. This upper air inversion that is developed when there is a widespread layer of the air descent. There are two types of upper air inversion. One is known as the thermal upper air inversion. This thermal upper air inversion that is caused by the presence of ozone layer in the upper troposphere between the height of the 15 to 35 kilometers. that absorbs the ultraviolet rays and increasing the temperature in the upper atmosphere. And the second one is the mechanical upper air inversion. The mechanical inversion of temperature is caused at a higher altitude in the atmosphere due to the subsidence of air and the turbulence and convection mechanism. Now coming to the advectional temperature inversion. This advectional temperature inversion is also known as the dynamic inversion. Because it is always caused due to the either horizontal movement of the air or the vertical movement of the air. So, this advection inversion has been divided into frontal inversion, which is also known as the cyclonic inversion. Because when there is a temperate cyclones which are formed due to the convergence of the warm and cold air mass in the northern hemisphere. This, this type of inversion is caused like this is a warm air and this is a cold air. So, the temperature inversion is caused like that. This is the, the temperature inversion is caused here. The warm air is pushed up by the cold polar air and thus the warm air lies over the cold air. So in that case, the inversion of temperature is occurred. Another advection inversion like surface inversion. This surface to inversion of temperature is caused by the horizontal movement of the air. This is caused when the warm air invades the area of the cold air. Therefore, the cold air moves into the area of the warm air. Because as the warm air is lighter, it overlays on the above the cold air. So, the temperature inversion is caused. Next, come to the valley inversion.
So, generally occurs in the mountainous valley region due to the radiation and the vertical movement of the air, which is uh, called the particle advection and inversion of temperature. That is, the temperature of the upper part of the valleys in the mountainous areas become exceedingly low during the winter nights because of the rapid rate of loss of heat of the surface to the terrestrial radiation. Now coming to the mechanical temperature inversion. Which is one of the subsidence inversion. This subsidence inversion develops when the widespread layer of the air descends which is compressed and heated by the resulting increasing atmospheric pressure. Right. Temperature, height, Subsidence inversion This is the actual environmental lapse rate More subsidence less subsidence. So, this is the subsidence inversion of temperature. Turbulence and convective inversion. So, within the Turbulence layer, vertical mixing carries the heat downward and cools the upper part of the layer that is causes the turbulent inversion of temperature. Like So this turbulence layer, there is a vertical mixing of the carriage of the heat that is by the aeroplane suppose that is causes the heat downward and cools the upper part of the layer which is caused the turbulence and conductive inversion. So what is the importance of this to study about the temperature inversion? There are a lot of importance like the temperature of the air at the valley bottom reaches below freezing point whereas the air at higher altitude remains comparatively warm. Therefore the trees along the lower slope are beaten by the frost and those at the higher levels are free from it. Second, less rainfall due to stable conditions. Fog lowers visibility
affecting the vegetation and human settlement. And due to this inversion of temperature, air pollutants such as dust particles smoke do not disperse in the valley bottom because of these factors house and farms intermediate valleys are usually situated along the upper slope and avoiding the cold and foggy valley bottoms thank you for watching this video and subscribe for the same